All right, you little mathematicians. This is the first in a three-part series about dividing fractions. So part one, dividing whole numbers by a unit fraction. Before we get into talking about dividing fractions, let's just sort of show you how to illustrate division um, with a picture. So we'll take a very simple division problem, 6 divided by 3. And now here we have 6 blocks. And so we can think of 6 divided by 3 as, you know, dividing these six blocks into groups of three. So here's one group of three. Here's another group of three. And so, of course, we know that six divided by three equals two. But what about dividing by fractions? Six divided by one-third, which is the reciprocal of three. Six divided by one-third. Okay, well, it's easy to talk about dividing into groups of three. Sort of, it's a little more awkward to talk about groups of one-third, but we're just going to sort of think of dividing these six blocks into thirds. How many thirds are there in these six blocks? Here they all are. I've divided the six blocks into thirds, and now it's just a matter of counting them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 thirds. So our answer, 6 divided by 1 third is 18. Well, this is kind of weird. Look at 6 and 1 third. What relationship do you notice between those two numbers that will, you know, turn into 18? The thing that I see is 6 times 3 is 18. So 6 times the denominator when we were doing dividing, that gave us our answer. But that could just be some weird coincidence. So let's not pay too much attention to that. And let's look instead at this next problem. 4 divided by 1 fourth. How many fourths are there in 4? Well, here we have our 4 blocks. Let's cut them up into fourths. And then we got to just count them up. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the answer 4 divided by 1 fourth is 16. And again, there's this weird relationship. 4 divided by 1 fourth is 16, and 4 times 4 is 16. So take notice of that for now. We're going to keep an eye on this weird pattern where it seems like we're multiplying this by the denominator over here to get our answer. And as we move through the uh, next couple videos, we'll really see that pattern start to take shape. Thanks a lot. Uh, answer the questions and have a good night.